Spy here from Black Ops Toys, and today we are unboxing the female silver deity of war, or Horus from the Egyptian mythos. Uh, we just unboxed this guy, the golden male version, and now we're going to do the silver female version. Pop the box open, have the introduction. So first we will go ahead and look at the body. So it is the same kind of black, like dark black purple body, which is an excellent body for, for monster figures or other um, creature characters from any other mythos. And you can see the hands are kind of this wrapped falcon detail, so they have the claws. Same with the feet down here, they have the kind of the wraps and then the claws, similar to the other one, but in a it's kind of smaller female version. For the leg gauntlets, it's a different design, but kind of the same thing. There are two parts. You have this outer part, which has all the gold detailing. Excellent weathering and paint apps here on this gold, not making it look too shiny, which is always good. Same with the silver in here. You can tell they hit that with quite a few washes to make that look weathered. And then you have the under cloth part here. These are two parts, and they come out separately. And then you have this nice kind of uh, waist armor with these gems. These gems on both figures are very, very well done. Nice and reflective and shiny. And as far as posing, it's the typical spice and standard. They're excellent at posing. You have full range of motion on the legs. Can really bend these around and get them to pose in excellent positions. It's one of the pluses of the, of the stainless steel seamless bodies. You don't need to worry about breaking any of the pegs or anything. You can move it around, get it to, to pose kind of how you want. Again, you kind of have that same washed detail right here for the metalwork of the bra. You have another gem back here. Excellent detail. Same with the skirt. You can see the skirt has some weathering in here. And this body has kind of uh, wider hips than most standard bodies. It's very hard to get these pieces off. But we'll move into the armor bits. You have the gauntlets right here. Again, the nice gem detail. These really small ones here, excellently done. The gold underneath, so this is kind of a silver golden brass. These would be excellent gauntlets for, for any female figure. You have your extra hands. Same layout as the previous figure. You have your grip hands for the weapons. Your semi-relaxed hands are kind of claw hands. You have one fully relaxed hand and then a pointing hand. You have your neck decor. That will go right here. You have some armbands. So these will go over your arms, just to add some extra detail. And then you have her head. And this piece actually goes on the head. I'll show you how to do that. So she is actually wearing a head wrap that is cloth with this excellent gold detail all across it. And then you have the all-seeing eye back there. And then the same kind of braids, kind of look like predator braids, same as the other. And then the excellent highlighting of those feathers down there. You can see they're lightly dry brushed with that brown paint. And then you have great detailing on the eyes all around the face and the silver beak. And she has a little cobra on top of her head. And this piece, if you see right here, you have these little holes. This piece is kind of a headdress or a crest that just fits right into there. And it is the same on both versions, the gold and the silver. Now we can get into the weapons. We have a slightly similar sword to the male version. Excellent detailing all along here. Show that kind of weathered look, whereas down here on where the blade is, it's much cleaner and brighter silver. And same with the handle, excellently well done. 
and it is straight. And then you have her staff, which is pretty long. Again, you have that gem at the top. These gems are just so well done, nice and reflective. And you have your other side, which is kind of a like a scythe of some sort, like a double-sided scythe. And then you have her cape. This cape is actually not wired, it is just a cloth cape. You have your string ties right here to tie around the front. Similar to the last cape, you have the gold detailing around the sides and at the top, and it is weathered slightly. You have a little wrap right here, I think that's to, to wrap it. Excellently detailed cape. Can go with a lot of other Mythos figures. Ultimately a very great set. Uh, like I said previously, you can get this set in both the gold and the silver look. I personally like the silver, I like this nice weathered look they, they do, which is done through washes. Ultimately a really good set. If you like this video, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. You can like this video down below, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified of more awesome content like this girl. <laughs>